Just a short one today. It's about a learning resource that I really want to share with you because I think you're going to love it. As well as teaching Python on this channel and covering the basics of things like data analysis and machine learning, I also like to try to point you in the direction of what I think are really useful learning resources. And I think I found another one for you. It's free and it's an introduction to numerical computing and data visualization with Python. But before we get onto that, how about a cryptic crossword clue? Do you think you can solve this? From The Guardian, thinks like detective, finally cracking problems, seven letters. I'll give you the answer with the explanation at the end of the video. Most investment bankers and traders are expected to be able to code. And at JP Morgan, those that can't are put on a training course. And that training course is available on GitHub. Uh, and that's the course that I think might be very useful for you. It's by Tim Payne, and it's a really good introduction to Python. It starts by covering best practices, and then it gives an introduction to Jupyter Notebooks. Um, it then goes on to uh, show you how to use Python to price a straddle. Now, a straddle, I think, is a combination of options that you can put together in order to take advantage of a particular market move. More than that, I don't know. Uh, there's a section where they look at flight data. They look at using web APIs and web scraping using pandas. And then it goes on to cover more advanced plotting techniques using Seaborn. So take a look at that. I think you'll find it a really useful resource. Oh, and the solution to the crossword? Well, the answer the answer is assumed. In this case, thinks is the definition and the rest of the clue is the cryptic explanation. So like gives us as, as in as or like. Uh, so we take that a as and then detective finally gives us the last letter of detective, which is an E. And cracking means that it's contained in problems. Another word for problems is sums. So we get as plus sums with an E in that gives us assumes. See you next time. Bye-bye. I almost forgot to say that the links are all in the description, but you probably knew that anyway.